good morning happy hump day good morning happy hump day it is a wednesday y'all this is my last off day y'all say hi to coco say hi to coco back there why are y'all stopping this is not the drop off lane honey no and then i gotta fight to get in front of you so i could turn these cars get on my nerves not driving right y'all got coco with me decided to bring her with me this morning it is so like gloomy out and gray um i'm gonna stop and get some coffee and you know what this morning i am wanting to treat myself okay to a good breakfast i did not eat dinner last night y'all i was so tired i did not pick the camera back up i was so tired i did not take a nap at all yesterday it's been so long since i did not take a nap in the day like i be needing my naps okay i did not take a nap yesterday at all i was up moving cooking i created some hot man i was vlogging i created some content um and i was so tired and y'all know now time has gone back right so because of that it's now getting dark really early which i love baby but so first of all i love fall my favorite season period and then when the time rolls back and we start getting like dark early and we get that cozy like fireplace weather i just love it but with that also comes going this to sleep really early so i'm we went to sleep at six kids and all okay i think in the in the vlog um yesterday i said i was taking um Aaliyah and farron to a basketball game child i promise those were my real intentions but i promise you about an hour beforehand i call i, I had to call brandon like babe oh your good sis cannot do it i can't do it i'm so tired i'm so tired so he left he took Aaliyah. he left to go pick baron up from basketball practice and then they went to the basketball game Ooh, your girl needs gas um yeah they went to go pick baron up from basketball practice and then go to the game hey, baby we all took melatonin gummies me callie and maya gave serenity her antibiotics for the night for her ear infection and we clocked out okay we clocked out serenity didn't i think she woke up at like she ended up waking up at two i knew she wasn't gonna sleep through the night not going to sleep at six i was actually surprised that she went to sleep at six so um i didn't eat dinner or nothing the girls ate i went to sleep i was too tired so i'm treating myself this morning i'm going to waffle house and i'm getting me the superstar special that comes with them good waffles those grits those eggs those hash browns does it come with both hash anyways one of those and a waffle and some bacon some sausage so yeah i'm gonna go get that and i'm gonna go get a starbucks and today we're just chilling i'm gonna twist out my hair um leave it twisted probably for maybe like two three days and then over the weekend take it out wear my twist out for a few days and find somewhere for me to make appointments i'm looking for now that we're out of the pandemic i'm looking for a new salon to go to to get my hair um trimmed and blown out and silk pressed so my girlfriend shina recommended her girl she's like 150 dollars child and i don't even know if she's um accepting new clients but now for that 150 you like completely get the works and you only go to her like once every three months so i guess it makes it worth it so i'm really you know gonna look into that today and see if that's where i want to go um in the next week or two so we'll see we'll see i'm so excited i'm about to tear this up y'all me and coco are about to tear this up and now coco is knocked out she ate all my food and now she's knocked Aaliyah is growing like a tree so she needs some new clothes new to us anyway so I'm heading over to kid to kid going to grab her a few new pants and shirts hey guys so while I got a little bit of juice left in my 
on my battery and about five minutes before miss maya gets out of school let me show you guys what i just got i love kid to kid because first of all let me show you guys everything i got really quick so this was a run really for Aaliyah because she's just growing so fast Aaliyah is seven years old and she's now in a size 10 pants she's really really tall i think she's gonna be even taller than farron um, so we just needed to go up a size in her pants. So I got her three pairs of jeans. Here are the jeans, the first pair. Super cute, just blue jean wash. These were 10 bucks from Forever 21. Then I got her, these are from Gymboree. And these are medium blue wash. Or is that a medium? This is a dark blue wash. Super cute, nothing fancy, just regular blue jeans for her to go to school in. I do like the little detail right here. I think that's really cute. And then I got her a light wash. And these, the dark blue wash were $6.99 or so, $6.99. And then these ones are from Children's Place. I have to get all of her blue jeans skinny because my baby is so little. She's so skinny, but she's so tall. So it's always like, a little rough she still has to have like this inside here so when i went shopping um for them a few new shirts last weekend at walmart i couldn't find any jeans there in her size that had this and we must have this so super cute look look brand new i mean that's a good thing about like kid to kid they don't accept like damaged clothing or clothing that's worn or anything like that and a lot of times you can find brand new stuff in there so these were 7.99 so i got her three pairs of jeans and then let me show you the shirts i got her this cute little jacket this is like a walmart jacket yeah i think wonder nation is like a walmart brand but cute two-tone two-tone pink and black in the back it's really light it's perfect for this fall that was $3.99 then I got her faded glory I feel like this is Walmart as well but just a cute little button up some fall colors this is really cute this is $2.99 um, and I got her these long sleeves just because she doesn't really like to wear a jacket and the weather is like perfect for just like long sleeve shirts. And then I got her just a plain. This is again, children's place, little burgundy. And that was $3.99, $3.99. Then I got her this, it says gymnast. She's getting ready to start, um, gymnastics she's really into it she's been self-teaching herself using uh youtube super cute um this is from justice this looks like a brand new shirt i'm pretty sure like it is this is like super cute this was only 3.99 and then this shirt here this is from justice cute little like um, unicorn with a crown perfect for Miss Aaliyah this shirt was $3.99 but it was um, that blue tag means it was 50% off um, so that made it closer to about two bucks maybe a little less than two bucks and then last but not least this is a shirt this is an Arizona jean company and this shirt was $3.99 also again just really cute really simple for her to be comfortable in and play at school and then while i was there i decided to get coco a couple pieces now all together everything that i'm about to show you right now came out to five bucks okay so this is a 12 month which really i should have got 18 months because she's like <laughs> coco is getting big but just super simple polka dot pink polka dot y'all don't mind my nails i have to get them done but little onesie she's still really into onesies well she's not really into onesies i'm into onesies i love her in onesies so we're still in that phase and probably will be until she's 
almost two. Um, then I got this here. I think this is a Walmart brand, but it's 18 months. The little flamingos to spell out happy. Then I got her the little kitty cats. It says here for the hugs. This is a old navy onesie. What was that lot? Oh, that was a Walmart brand. This is from Carter's. This is 18 months. Really cute little bird. Just like a little jumper, a little romper. And then last but not least, this is also Carter's and it says totally awesome. And what I really liked was this little rainbow down here because y'all know she is my rainbow baby. Okay, and that's it. And these five items were a dollar each, so five dollars. So in total, it came out to fifty dollars and seventy-nine cents. And I got it what's called kid cash, five dollars off um, whatever I come in between December first and twenty-four and the twenty-fourth to spend on, which is perfect because I think I'm still not sure whether we're going to do holiday pajamas or if I'm going to actually get them all dolled up. But um, either way. I'll be going to kid to kid. So this will be used for that. Okay, I gotta go get my. She did something with blue. Um, her fingernails are blue. Oh, it was Play-Doh. Oh, you were playing in Play-Doh? Yeah. Yeah. All but right, thank you. Blue. Okay. You were working with blue, sweetie? Yeah, I have pumpkin seed. I have, I have this. A pumpkin seed? Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Were you a good girl at school today? I want to see that folder so I can see. Is it going to be another smiley face? Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll see. We'll see. Look at all the acorns. Falling from where? In the trees. In the trees. Yeah. And to wash my hands but so cute okay so I'm really happy with my nails I'm gonna go on a little rant right now y'all tell me what y'all think about my thoughts okay so first of all I love my nails um, I realized working at the hospital with the amount of times that I change my gloves and wash my hands throughout my shifts I have to do gel I can no longer do regular polish so this is gel, really love it. I think I'm going to have to find a new manicurist. Um, I'm very much a creature of habit. I've been coming to my manicurist, Cindy, since 2006, since I moved. Well, I moved to Texas in 2005 from California. 2006, I found her and I've been coming to her ever since. Always satisfied, like, but now things are starting to get a little weird so of course her prices have raised since i've been going there of course it's 2021 but baby when you raise the prices you also have to raise the the quality of things right like you can't be charging the same as these like upscale nail salons but I'm still walking into very much 2006, respectfully, okay? Respectfully. Then to top it off, 
two things happened today that had me like, really, sis? As I'm coming in, Cindy is about to do my nails. There's another manicurist and she just got finished doing a pedicure and nails. So she's done, there's nobody else. This is a slow time of the day for them until after four, I think. So she proceeds to get her phone and she's gonna chillax, no problem with that, chillax in between customers. But she proceeds to take her shoes off and like get in one of the pedicure chairs and like put her feet up in the seat, like on the arm part where people put their arms and their hands when they're getting a pedicure. And I'm pretty sure you're not gonna wipe this down. Like, don't get me wrong, I know that there are a lot of things that happen in the nail shop that should not, and I get that, I know what I'm going into, but come on sis, you're not even trying to hide it. Like your feet up in the chair where people's hands and arms go, you're not gonna wipe that down. You're not gonna wipe that down. Then on top of that, my manicurist is getting lazy. Sis, you own the shop. If you've been doing this for too long, and mind you, her quality used to be top tier. So if you're doing this, you've been doing this for so long and you feel tired, take a step back, hire an extra manicurist and let them do the work and work for you. You deserve it, sis. You deserve it. That's fine. But don't keep doing it and then get lazy on my nails. Like I have never had to like stop Cindy and be like, yo, look at that. Can you get that? Can you fill that in? Twice today I had to do it. Twice, I wasn't feeling that. I, are you taking money off for me having to coach you through this session? No. So I don't wanna have to tell you what to do when you're the professional, is all I'm saying. Now, let me know if, I hate this street. Let me know if I am like too picky or like just nitpicking at things but I'm just saying for for what I'm shelling out for this short nail set that is very very basic I am start like I, I'm gonna need a little bit more sis just saying y'all know I love my coffee right during this breastfeeding journey I constantly have had to worry about my caffeine intake but no more. I found a company called Milksta and they make the Booby Latte. The Booby Latte is vegan friendly and caffeine free. How cute is this packaging, right? One package comes with 30 sachets, which will give you a 30 day supply of coffee. All that you need is boiling water and your sachet and you got your coffee for the day. I personally do not have to add any sugars, any um, creamers or anything like that. I literally just take my latte, pour in my boiling water and enjoy my latte. Sometimes I even have two cups in one day. Ciao. So I'm getting ready to close out this vlog here. That last clip was some amazing breastfeeding coffee that I found, breastfeeding friendly coffee that I found. Um, so if you're a part of this tribe of mine here that I've created and you're a breastfeeding mama or you're getting ready to begin your journey, go ahead and follow my Instagram page. I will link that somewhere here on this page and uh, follow me for breastfeeding tips and videos and sponsorships. That part of the video is sponsored by Milksta. Um, but like I said, I don't sponsor anything that I don't believe in and I don't use myself. So if you are new here, thank you so much for watching. If you're already a subscriber, hey girl, hey, hey boy, hey. We finished our week um, watching Farron play basketball. It was her season opening game on Saturday. Um, if you're watching this pool, I enjoyed you. I'm proud of you. I expected nothing left. She, nothing less. She went off y'all. Go over to my Instagram and see clips of that video. And um, I will see you guys in the next one, all right? Bye.